guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I have got some cute little, cute little owl cutouts that I got from the uh, the Dollar Tree. These are actually a little bit different than the pumpkin uh, I had. These are a little bit thicker, and these are MDF as opposed to just um, those real thin wood ones. So I haven't tried these yet. I'm excited to give them a go. And I'm going to do both of them today. I've got kind of a more of a neutral color palette, but uh, they've got some nice shimmers in them. So I'm excited to uh, see how they turn out. So let's go get started with this. All right, here's our first owl. And I'm, I was just going to measure it really quick just to see. It's about six inches long and probably about four and a half. So six, five inch. So in that range little guy but I taped up the back and I'm still using this uh this pour mat that I got from the fluid art company they're not I don't think they're on their website yet I was given this to test out and I'm really liking it as opposed to just putting down pillow paint uh on my dry spinner this seems to so far nothing has flown off and I usually just let it dry and then peel the paint right off so we're going to give this a go today with this cute little owl. So I'm going to run through all the colors I have, and then we'll go through the cell activator and the pillow, and we'll get started with these little cuties. So the first color I have is Josonia's Black Umber. And I have this all mixed up with my Valspar Verithane Pouring Medium Mix. All right, my next color is going to be the PBO Studio Acrylics, the Iridescent Blue Black, one of my absolute favorite colors. And this is the consistency of it. I've got this also mixed up with my Valspar Verithane. And then my final color is a, this is a Bling It color by The Color Art. This is Scarab Beetle Satin. It kind of, it looks like a, it looks almost like a copper color, but with a green undertone. It looks really luscious. Here's what that looks like. I mean, if you can see kind of like that green gold undertone, it's really beautiful. I'm excited to see what it does. But I have this mixed up with my Dutch Boy Joe Sonia Pouring Medium. And the cell activator, I'm going to use a white cell activator today. This is my uh, Australian Floetrol mixed with Amsterdam Titanium White at 4 to 1. And then my pillow for today is my Glidden Premium in Satin. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour just some right in the middle here. And I'm going to, I'm just going to kind of spread it all the way out. Since this is a hard surface, I've been, uh, spreading out my my pillow paint just all the way to the edges otherwise it may start to dry and give you weird little lines in places you don't want them so but we're going to do a bloom on this one and i'm just going to put a little bit more in the middle and we should be good to go the the edges aren't are maybe a quarter inch thick so i'm not going to need too much when we spin it out all right I want to put down the black umber first, right here in the middle. A little bit more. That should be good. And then I think I'm going to do the PBO blue black next. Just kind of sporadically put that down and then we've got the scarab beetle put that down and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put another layer of the black umber not all the way but just some because I kind of want it on the bottom and on the top. And then I want the shimmers to peek through. That's my idea anyways. All right, put the cell activator on. Blow this guy out. get my 
my straw out too. Let that center come back in. Let's do some little modifications in here. See some little weird cells right here. I'm just gonna put a little swirl. Sometimes if you see little weird swirl or little weird cells, I'll just kind of adapt it a little bit. Otherwise, as you spin it out, the weird cells will grow into bigger weird cells. <laughs> Sometimes just putting some little embellishment on it will make it a little bit better. All right. You can't see it from this angle, but I can see a lot of the uh, the green and that blue black shimmer coming up through, which is what I wanted. So <clears throat> I think we're good. Let's bring this over to the spinner box and see what comes of this cute little owl. All right. Here's what that guy looks like before we start spinning it out. And I think I am just going to give it a healthy spin and see how it comes out. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. It's hard to make out because the paint is kind of hiding where the owl is, but I'm really digging all these colors together. I think I want to do just one more little kind of baby spin. Yeah, I'm not getting any movement. I, th I think that's it. I think, I think we're done, which is good because we've got one more to do. All right, that is the cutest. <laughs> I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> I'm going to put this back and then we're going to go and uh, work on the next one. All right. On to the second guy. That first little guy is just so cute. Same colors, uh, same pillow. I might change the order of the colors though, but let's get this pillow on here and spread out. All right, I'm gonna put down the black on first. We're gonna do another bloom. I just thought, I, I sometimes I like to do blooms and then swipes, but this is just so small. I'm not sure how the swipe would work really well with it. So I wanna do another bloom, but we're gonna change the order of the colors. So this is the black umber and I'm gonna be putting down the scarab beetle next. And then I'll put down the PBO Iridescent Blue Black. And then I'm going to put a little bit more of the Black Umber. Just for contrast. The cell activator down. It looks like an eye. <laughs> it's going, it's leaking on both sides, but that's okay. All right. Draw again. I'm 
think that looks pretty good. Let's put a few little embellishments in here. get a lot of cells down here so I just want to make cool little patterns for whatever sticks since some of this is going to come off I think that looks pretty dang cool. All right, let's go see what happens with this one. I will meet you over the spinner box. All right, and here's what this guy looks like before we start spinning it. I don't know if you can see some of the shimmers in there. Really pretty. All right, let's just give this a spin. Let's see where the paint falls. Ooh, oh, I love those swirlies on the bottom portion of his little body and I love what's happening here uh, on the spinner itself I'm just gonna do one more little I think yeah oh I'm really digging that all right Winner, winner, chicken dinner for number two. Oh, I love all the shimmers in there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to get cleaned up, and I will bring you over for the flyover of these little, these little cuties. All right, here's the flyover, the first guy, and I just wanted to get all the shimmers in there. I love the mix of that scarab beetle and then the blue-black. It just makes the coolest effect right there. I was wondering how, like, it almost it almost looks peacock-ish, <laughs> if that's a word. But I just love the explosion of cells, and I love how it's lighter on his um, little horns. Ears? Horns? Well, they look like ears just on this little cutout, but they're super, super cute. I just love this, the cells and the shimmer in that one so that was the first one and here is the second one i love and this was where we switched the order so we're kind of seeing more of the uh the blue black come through but i love how in that spiral you see both so pretty i cannot wait to see how these dry i love how there's just a little bit of shimmer but you see more of it almost looks like a leopard up here that's what I was hoping for just kind of shimmers and peaks in between that black umber so there's the second one and here's both of them I am so excited to see how these dry I'll be back once they're dried to show you the results and I'm back to show you these two cute little owls that we that we just did and I, they just dried so beautifully and they're so cute I can't stand it Here's the first one, and they both dried exactly how you saw them wet, but here it is as a whole before I start moving it around. It's really got some nice uh, shimmers in there with that, uh, with that blue black and then the uh, scarab beetle. Let me bring it in and kind of try to show off the shimmers a little better. I love like his little wing part right there. And I love that the uh, these ears, horns, ears, <laughs> still out for debate. <laughs> but I like how it's kind of like a lighter, the lighter cell cells. And I just, I love these micro cells in here. 
So that's the first one. And then the second one. Equally as cute. And again, with the, the lighter cells on top, I'm loving that. But I'm glad I put in some of these little swirls down here. You can see the iridescence in it. And I did switch the order in this one. I am totally going to resin both of these. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. I mean, they might just be cute little decorations. But I'm definitely going to resin them because they definitely need to shine through with uh, with those sparklies that are in there. So I really had a lot of fun with these and I love going to the Dollar Tree and seeing, okay, what can I pour on? They do have, um, in their craft section, they have, uh, at, at different times, they have different MDF shapes. So you never know what you're going to get when you go there. And then they have the seasonal with the pumpkin that I did and the leaf and those are just so much fun to pour on so let me know what you think in the comments below uh, what have you found at the dollar tree or, in, or somewhere else you know something interesting that that you pour on or bloom on or swipe on or so i really hope you enjoyed watching this video i had so much fun putting it together thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time